The Boeing B-47 Stratojet was one of the most influential aircraft in aviation history. Developed in response to a 1943 United States Army Air Force's requirement for a jet-powered reconnaissance bomber, it became the first large swept-wing multi-engine jet bomber. Drawing on captured German aerodynamic research, Boeing engineers designed the Model 450 with 35-degree swept wings, pod-mounted turbojet engines, and bicycle landing gear. This radical design, refined from earlier prototypes, gave the B-47 its distinctive look and advanced performance. The prototype XB-47 flew for the first time on December 17, 1947. It demonstrated exceptional speed and handling, far outclassing competitors like the North American XB-45 and Convair XB-46. Equipped with six turbojet engines and capable of carrying 25,000 pounds of bombs, the B-47 represented a leap forward in strategic bomber technology. To assist takeoffs, it could use rocket-assisted boosters, and to manage high-speed landings, it deployed large drag chutes. The B-47 entered service with the Strategic Air Command in 1951. By the mid-1950s, it had become the backbone of America's nuclear deterrent, replacing the piston-engine B-29s and B-50s. Its speed, over 600 miles per hour, made it competitive with many contemporary fighters. More than 2,000 aircraft were built by Boeing, Lockheed, and Douglas. The Stratojet was deployed worldwide, often operating from forward bases in Europe, North Africa, and Asia. Crews trained for rapid minimum interval takeoffs, with bombers launching just seconds apart to maximize readiness during the Cold War. Besides its role as a nuclear bomber, the B-47 was adapted for reconnaissance. RB-47 variants conducted high-risk overflights of the Soviet Union, collecting intelligence on radar networks, air defenses, and missile sites. Some were fired upon or shot down, making these missions among the most dangerous of the era. Specialized versions also performed electronic intelligence, weather reconnaissance, and nuclear test sampling. Despite its success, the B-47 had limitations. Its range was shorter than that of the later B-52, and low-altitude missions placed great stress on the airframe. Beginning in the 1960s, it was phased out of frontline service. Bombing units were retired by 1965, and the last reconnaissance models served until 1969. A handful remained as testbeds until 1977. The final B-47 flight occurred in 1986, when one aircraft was ferried to the Castle Air Museum in California, for display. Today, preserved stratojets can be found in aviation museums across the United States. Though it never dropped a bomb in combat, the B-47's revolutionary design shaped the future of military and civilian jet aircraft. It was the direct ancestor of the B-52 Stratofortress and set the standard for modern jetliner configuration, making it a cornerstone of both Cold War strategy and aeronautical engineering.